Welcome back to Upside Down Data. Let's talk about Bitcoin and the crypto markets. So Bitcoin is at an interesting place right now. It had this impressive run to up over 44K, but now it's fallen off a bit from that. And a lot of people are now debating where it's going next. A lot of people are arguing it's just going to keep on going off to all time highs, even before the halving, even before the end of the year. Some people think that that is going to happen, whereas a lot of other people think that it's going to have a correction and it might have to cool off some before it can continue its move to the upside. So I've been on the record saying that I've thought that a correction probably is a little bit more plausible right now than just ripping off to new all time highs. But let's talk a little bit more about that and where I'm coming from because I think when you look at the broader crypto markets right now, you might say, what reason is there to be bearish? Look at all these assets that are absolutely pumping still right now. You can, as you go down, you can see, for example, INJ up quite a bit in the last 24 hours, uh, VET up quite a bit. And you can go down and see a bunch of really large candles that have been put in recently. You'd say, well, that doesn't seem very bearish to me. Let's talk about some of the data that I've been looking at that have been forming my opinion and just situate it in terms of is this a long term idea or a shorter term idea. So the first model that I like to look at is our um, I'll flip over here, the trend confidence indicator for Bitcoin. So TCI. So what the TCI looks at is basically the current trend. So is the current trend up or is the current trend down? And then how healthy is that trend? So the idea with the TCI is that if you're in an uptrend and the TCI is moving up, that's a good sign. It means it's probably a healthy trend. But then if you see the TCI start moving down, especially if, if price continues up, that's a concerning sign, might mean that this uptrend is weakening and a correction might be coming soon. But then if you're rallying with it, that's good. But then again, TCI falling to the downside, then price tends to follow with it up and up. And then TCI trending down, price comes down with it, so on and so forth. And more recently, you'll notice with Bitcoin, TCI has been trending down pretty aggressively. Even with this push up to 44K, the, the TCI was just not really that impressed. It didn't really fully believe in this rally. And indeed, now we've been moving down a bit, showing some weakness. TCI is not ready to see this as an uptrend or at least be confident in that uptrend. So I'd really like to see the TCI moving up with price to think that it's a more sustainable rally. We haven't seen that yet. So that's one potential sign of weakness that might point in the direction of us having to at least consolidate, if not correct, from current levels. Now, another thing that I've talked about and I've looked at here is just where are we in terms of risk? So this is our long-term upside downside potential indicator or UDPI, it cares about moves that play out over months, a little bit longer in this time horizon. And really what I've talked about before is that you'll notice that the current level of risk is not seen very often for Bitcoin. It's really only seen when you're clearing off to all time highs, or when you're gonna put in a reasonably notable correction, either a mid-cycle top or really kind of basically a mid-cycle top, you know, a top, a local top somewhere within a cycle. And so basically we're at a level where we could either maybe do something like we've seen in the past, where we have a reasonable correction, or we're just gonna clear off to all-time highs. And so when I'm looking at something like the TCI that's showing some signs of caution and looking at this, it makes me think that maybe it's a little bit more likely that we're going to have something more like this play out than just something like this. Would love to be wrong about that, but that's one of the things that I'm looking at. But that's not the only thing that I'm looking at. Another thing I'm looking at is just risk in the broader crypto market. So we can go ahead and look at that. So here's some different assets and looking at their long term UDPI. So this is Chainlink I'm showing you here. You can see that it got to a pretty hot, pretty overextended long-term risk level, starting to cool off, but still pretty hot. Same thing for Solana, which I'm showing you here, got pretty hot. And this is one of those things where if we were at a, in a situation where the long-term UDPIs across the market were way lower, I'd be thinking that us just continuing to rip to the upside would be a lot more likely. But it does concern me to some degree to see risk so high for so many different assets. It makes me think that we might need to spend some time consolidating, cooling off, before we can really put in that massive of a rally. It doesn't say that we can't, we're not gonna go to all-time highs eventually, but just in the immediate term, especially before the end of the year, I would see that as probably not being especially likely. I think it would actually be a lot healthier for the market for risk to cool off a lot more before that happens. Basically, these assets have already chewed up a lot of their long-term upside potential. It'd be nice for them to be able to cool down, even correct, accrue some more upside potential, and that could actually catalyze that move to 
the upside. Now, another thing I'm looking at also is sentiment and what that's looking at. So this is an experimental model that I'm showing you here. So I'm still playing around with this, but I just decided to give an early preview of it. One of the things that we're hoping to add to the PolarityDigital.io website, our website, link in the description, soon is social media data amongst a bunch of other data as well. And so one of the things that is useful about social media data is that you can look at sentiment. Is the overall market position bullish or bearish? Or more specifically, are people talking in a bullish way or a bearish way on social media? Give an idea of where is everyone's opinion? Where is the majority opinion basically? And that's what this model here gets at is, is the majority, is the dominant narrative bullish or is the dominant narrative bearish? And we'll actually see, so higher levels basically mean dominance of bullish narratives, lower values there's dominance of bearish. What you'll notice here is that when a sentiment gets extreme in one side or the other, that oftentimes corresponds with notable tops or bottoms. So really, especially through here, you can see that when sentiment gets really extreme one direction or the other, there's usually some kind of notable correction or bottom that forms at that level. And we saw a similar thing play out over here. And you'll notice that up through here, we got pretty overextended bullish. We had to cool off on sentiment, get a little bit more down towards about neutral. And now we're starting to move back to the upside. And so this is one of those things where I've seen a lot of people argue that the reason why Bitcoin will just continue ripping to the upside right now is because people are basically claiming everyone thinks that we're gonna correct, that everyone's bearish right now, and therefore it's gonna do the opposite of what people think. What's useful about models like this is we actually look across social media data and see where are people actually in their sentiment. And this certainly doesn't look like the vast majority of people are bearish. If anything, this is saying the majority of people are bullish. So that's not really a point in the favor of people thinking we're gonna rip up to all time highs. And especially with the other underlying data suggesting that we are getting overheated right now, not just for Bitcoin, but also for other crypto assets. It makes me just think that we might have to spend some more time cooling off. And that might lead to sentiment cooling off also. And then if those things happen together, where suddenly now the risk data looks a lot more favorable because risk is cooled off, but everyone's bearish, that actually would be the point where you'd wanna be contrarian more likely and be come bullish on it. But let's remember also time frame, because what a lot of what I've been talking about here is more shorter term consideration. It's important to remember that medium to long term, the market very much looks like it's in a bull market. So this is the forecast model for Bitcoin. It is the probability of upside six months in the future. That's what this model outputs. And what we can see is that we're very much in bull market footing. We just look at when the forecast model looks like it is right now. It's in bull markets. And so that's where any correction that we might see is probably more likely to be an opportunity than something to panic about. Might not feel like it at the time, but that's probably, in my opinion, the more likely scenario. Now, none of this is financial advice. You should be making your own opinions of where you think things are going, how to navigate this. But when I put this all together, what I'm seeing is a market that's currently overheated. A lot of people who might just be a little bit too euphoric and just think that the good times can't end and that Bitcoin's just gonna continue ripping to the upside could be right. But I personally think that if I had to put a probability on one side or the other in the short to medium term, I would think that cooling off correcting might be a bit more likely before we end up doing that. But I do think that medium to long term, the risk reward still favors the bullish side very clearly. It looks like we're in a bull market. And if that's the case, then those corrections are opportunities. But importantly, if we do see a correction, I would just expect that people would not be feeling like it's much of an opportunity when it would happen. Imagine if Bitcoin, for example, came back down here to test these levels at the low 30 Ks. I'll bet you sentiment would be falling off a cliff if that happened. I'll bet a lot of people would be scared, but if that coincided with a lot of other bullish data, like risk data, if the forecast model still bullish, and if the TCI is trending up, all those things, and that would just be another opportunity. And really that's exactly what we saw back here in September, October. This is why I was so bullish back here. I saw sentiment was really falling off a cliff. People were getting really concerned about the market, thinking things were gonna go way lower, but the underlying data didn't support that. It made sense to be a contrarian at that point. Sentiment was too wi widely held and too extreme to the bearish side for what the underlying dynamics were saying. Now we're at a point where the underlying dynamics are not as favorable. It might make sense for us to have to reset, not just in terms of the underlying data, but then also sentiment. Basically, we want a situation where people are more likely to be jumping in on the short side, fading any rally, to then fuel it to the upside with short squeezes, rather than everyone just dumping in long 
which can then lead to these flushes like what we saw back over here. So obviously, again, not know this is financial advice, but those are some things I'm looking at right now. So again, if you want to view live data from our models and more, you can do so at our website, partydigital.io. Link is in the description. And if you like the content, remember to subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, and follow us on X. A lot of updates about our models and more over there.